Welcome to Gurukul Lectures. In the ongoing series of outcome based education, today we will be talking on accreditation of higher education institute that is the essential components of outcome based education. Now what is the concept of accreditation? Accreditation means the act of granting approval to an organization by an official review board after the organization has met specific return requirements or standards. Accreditation refers to a voluntary review process of educational programs by a professional organization. Accreditation in the higher education is a quality assurance process that requires colleges, universities, vocational schools and other educational programs to confirm that they meet a specific set of standards set forth by an external body. According to Selden, Accrediting is the process whereby an organization agency recognizes a college or a university or a program of a study as certain predetermined qualifications and standards. Now let us do some definitional aspects of accredit accreditation. Now the definition accreditation is the process in which the certification of competency, authority or credibility is presented. Accreditation is the process meeting the predetermined qualifications and the standards by the outside agencies. So there this is the need of today that if you do not meet the quality parameters, if you do not have a predetermined standards, the qualifications and etc., then it will be very difficult for that higher education institute to sustain. So the process, the courses, the programs needs a strong examination that whether they adhere to the quality standards or not. Now there are specific purposes of accreditation. The first is the maintenance of adequate admission requirement, maintenance of minimum academic standards, stimulation of institutional self-improvement, protection of institutes against educationally and socially harmful pressures. Accreditation is a measure of education and infrastructure standards that a higher education institute can undoubtedly provide. Now what is accreditation and what does it mean? Accreditation is a non-governmental mechanism that evaluates the educational institutes and the services on a voluntary basis. The business schools they gain accreditation to assure stakeholders that they direct educational delivery through a carefully designed mission. To produce the outstanding graduates, select and help the students, provide the trained professors for the degree programs and the curricula that are important, help to the structure learning contribute to the advancement of science through the study and the scholarly work. Now why do we need to get the institutions and the program accredited? The students and the industry are demanding more in a dynamic foreign market. Accreditation of your programs will assist you in attracting the best candidates as well as assist the students in establishing a strong base for the professional registration. Meet the industry requirement, programs are compared to other global programs. The institutes not accredited by 2030 by NAC shall cease to exist or would be asked to merge and would thus lose their identity forever. Now this is such an important statement and this is for all the higher education institutes ears that they have to get themselves accredited by the year 2030. Otherwise the repercussions are very strong. Number one, they will lose their identity. Number two, they will be merged with some existing and outstanding organization. So probably you will lose your identity forever. So it is better to prepare yourself to get yourself accredited, your institution or the programs. Getting an accredited degree will mean 
that you will be a preferred candidate for other universities across the globe and the future employers as well. There is a dream of every student to get graduated from the accredited institution because it has straight spillover effect on their placements. They feel so enlightened and good and they always have a good career if they pass out from a good institute which is accredited very high from the accreditation bodies depending upon which course and institution they belong to. So definitely it has a very close connection with their placements, with their future plans, with their future careers and also the future employers as well. In India, getting accredited is mandatory for all post-secondary educational institute as without accreditation no institute can award the degrees or call themselves a center of learning in the first place. So this is very very important for every higher education institute to understand that they will not be able to give any kind of a degree or award any kind of a degree unless and until they are accredited and they, they can always call themselves as a center of learning in the first place if the accreditation is done. If it is not done on the contrary, they cannot give away any kind of a award of degrees and call themselves as a center of learning. Now there are different types of accreditation. The regional accreditation agencies are there, state accreditation agencies are there, national professional accreditation agencies are also there. So let us have a look on this. Accreditation of the agencies in India that is who grant the accreditation. The first let us talk about the Central Advisory Board of Education which we call it as CABE. Second we have All India Council for Elementary Education AICEE. -E. Then we have All India Council of Secondary Education AICSE. Then we have University Grant Commission and in short we call it as UGC. Then we have All India Council for Technical Education AICTE and the prime body NAC that is the National Accreditation Assessment Council. Now there are certain professional accreditation agencies in India which give accreditation to the professional and the professionals. The first is the Medical Council of India that is MCI. The second is the Indian Nursing Council which we call it as INC. The third is the Dental Council of India DCI. Then we have a Pharmacy Council of India that is PCI. So to name the few these were the professional accreditation agencies which give accreditation to the professional bodies. Now let us have some kind of a detail of the top accreditation bodies. This list consists of the detailed information of all the statutory accreditation organizations in India. The list consists of those organizations that provide accreditation to the institute for the higher education in India. All the institutes including the colleges, universities, they must be authorized by the government. For the purpose of authorization of the various universities and institutes, these government organizations and other autonomous bodies are created. The advantage of accreditation through these organizations is that it helps the students to get an idea of the profile and the status of any institute. Following are some organizations that are responsible for accreditation of the institutes. The National Assessment and Accreditation Council. It is an autonomous body established by University Grant Commission of India to get accredited and assess the institutions providing higher education in the country. Not only it makes the peer team visits daily but also helps in conducting 
many workshops and the seminars in the accredited institutions. Partnering with the various state government and the professional organizations, it promotes the accreditation and the assessment. Now let us talk about AICTE in detail, that is All India Council for Technical Education. All India Council for Technical Education is a council for imparting the technical education in India. It works under the Department of the Higher Education, Ministry of Human Resource Development, that is MHRD. It was established in the year 1945 in the month of November as an apex body to promote and survey the technical education in India. It works to ensure the quality through accreditation and formulates the norms and the standards. Also, it funds in priority basis the coordinating in management of technical education in the country. It undertakes the program of technical education including training and research in engineering, town planning, applied arts and craft, architecture, pharmacy, management, hotel management, catering technology and etc. at the various levels. Besides AICTE, let us now talk on NBA that is the National Board of Accreditation. The National Board of Accreditation popularly called as NBA was formed under AICTE as an autonomous body for the regular evaluation of technical institutions and the programs in accordance with AICTE norms. Its primary goal is to monitor the quality and the relevance of the various courses available. Then we have Ministry of Human Resource Development that is MHRD. It was established in the year 1985. It formulates the national policy on education and ensures its efficient implementation. In addition to improving the quality of education institutes in the country, it focuses especially on the disadvantaged groups like poor, females and minorities. MHRD also provides financial help to the deserving students of the deprived section of the society in the form of scholarships and subsidy loans. Currently, it works with UNESCO, that is the foreign government and universities to the education in India. Now, another organization which is responsible for the accreditation of the Higher Education Institute is ABET. ABET INC is a non-profit accreditation body organization that accredits the college, university program in applied and the natural science, electronics, engineering and engineering technology. It is also an ISO 9001 accredited body and organization. It is based in Baltimore, Maryland and provides the programmatic accreditation in India as well as in 22 other countries. It focuses specially on assessing a single program of research rather than the entire organization. It is a brief peer review process is used to obtain the EBIT accreditation. Now another international body which is responsible for accreditation is AACSB International. It is also a non-profit organization dedicated to the advancement and enhancement of business administration education and accreditation. AACSB is a leading accrediting organization for the bachelor's, master's and doctoral degree programs 
in business administration and accounting. It was established in the year 1916 and the ISO has granted AACSB an international recognition. So, such a huge and important role AACSB plays as far as the accreditation is concerned in the field of business administration and accounting. So, basically another when we talk about the professionals accreditation bodies, the top of the list is MCI that is the Medical Council of India. It was established in the year 1934 under the Indian Medical Counseling Act 1933. The Medical Council of India aims to create a uniform standards of higher education qualifications in the field of medicine and the recognition of the medical qualifications in India and abroad. The objectives of the Medical Council of India are to permanently register provisionally registers the doctors with the recognized medical qualifications and to reciprocate with the foreign countries in the matter of mutual recognition of the medical qualifications. To recommend for the recognition or the de-recognition of qualifications of the medical institutes in India and abroad. To maintain the uniform standards of the medical education in the undergraduate and the postgraduate subjects. Second in the list when you talk about the professional accreditation institutes in India, we have Pharmacy Council of India popularly called as PCI. Pharmacy Council of India regulates the pharmacy education and is associated professions in India up to the graduate level. PCI is governed by the Pharmacy Act of 1948 passed by the Parliament. It also inspects the pharmacy institutions seeking the approval under the Pharmacy Act. Adding to the scrutiny, Pharmacy Council of India also checks the academic training of the institutions, the teaching pharmacy courses also. To keep its records, PCI also maintains a central register of pharmacists. Another organization when you talk about is the Dental Council of India and popularly called as DCI. The Dental Council of India is a statutory body which was established in the year 1949 under the Act of Parliament. The Dentist Act to regulate the dental education, profession and the ethics. It also prescribes the standard curricula for training of the dentist, the dental hygienes, the dental mechanics and the conditions of such training. Moreover, it also affiliates every dental college to an university and creates a uniform standards of entrance to the various courses in dentistry. There are substantial benefits of accreditation and we have done substantial part as far as the definitional and the agencies are concerned as far as the academic agencies and also the professional agencies are concerned. So now we can jot down the benefits of accreditation very very nicely. Higher education accreditation bodies in India they play a very significant and stupendous role in recognizing India's higher education institutes. To put it another way the value of a degree conferred by an institution is determined by its accreditation. The importance of accreditation for educational institutes cannot be overstated and it is of course 
it is a continuous assessment operations. Accredited institutions are in charge of developing and maintaining academic standards and the educational quality. Now doing your research pays, this is I am talking about from the student's point of view that is which organization to get admission into. Whether you are attending the community college, vocational school or a four year university, accreditation is something you should not overlook. Unfortunately, so called diploma mills exist only to rob the students and their money in exchange for a very bad fraudulent degree. Every student must keep this in mind that as and when you are moving forward with the admissions in any of the college or higher education institutes in India or across the globe, you have to see the mark of accreditation that whether the institutes follows the standards of accreditation or not or whether any body has accredited that institution, university, program or not. If it is not, one should not be moving forward with the plans of taking the admission in that diploma mill. Otherwise, you will be actually left behind as far as the placement part is concerned. Because as far as the international scenario is concerned, you will not be having any kind of value. Your degree will not be having any kind of a value. You will not getting a placement into a good uh, organization or the corporate. Because everything is straight away connected with the accreditation and that is why the accreditation plays a very vital role and unfortunately there are some students who actually overlook this such an important concept and they overlook this concept owing to which the organization will not be moving forward with their quality standards and the students who have got admission into those organization will also not be having any kind of a bright future.